Just unboxed my Remington Rotary Shaver 5000. I'm not a big fan of Rotary Shavers, so I think I'm a pretty good person to judge whether they work good or not. This one does say that it's a wet tech shaver, so 100% waterproof for wet or dry shaving. So I'll probably do a dry shave first, then take a shower and do the wet shave. Um, it says Power Flex 360. You can see that there anyways. Allows the entire head to adjust to any angle on the face to help reduce irritation. Active contour, more contour. Keeps the heads close to close contact with the skin, the neck and chin, enhanced pop-up trimmer. Most shavers come with these nowadays, so looks like your normal average run-of-the-mill rotary wet dry shaver. So I am going to plug it in and let it charge. It usually takes an hour to charge a new shaver. I'll probably let it charge charge for half an hour so I can hurry up and get to the review. One quick thing here I found when I was going through the uh, manual is this is the model PR1362C. It says the first time you charge it for best results, let it charge the full shave time. It does have the quick charge, so if you're in a hurry, you can just charge it for five minutes and then shave. But it does say to let it charge for 90 minutes. I'm not going to because I want to do the quick review. But uh, anyways, that's one more thing on the charging system. I don't see anything else special about it. It comes. It, I did forget to mention it comes with your uh, what's considered standard pretty much nowadays. This is a shave guard if you don't want to shave all the way close to the skin. If you want to keep that scruffy look for some reason, some people are into that. So, on to the live shave. Okay, I'm going to do half my face with the dry shave, and then I'm going to take a shower and do like a normal wet shave. So, here it goes. All you do is pop this up to uh, clean it up. Still not that much in it.
Well, there you have it. It's uh, fairly smooth, but they're still still pretty patchy. I'm not a fan of these rotary razors, so definitely won't be given a very good review. Well, that was pulling up the hair in my skin quite a bit, and uh, I'll go ahead and do the uh, wet shave. But I'll probably have to touch up with my uh, electric foil razor or a straight razor. Okay, here goes the uh, wet shave side of my face. I must say I can't really feel it near as much pulling up my skin and hair when I press down on the wet shape. I'm going to check and make sure it's still clean. But I don't think it's shaving there is good either. Okay, so this is the side of my face that I dry shaved. You can kind of tell. My wife could probably tell you if she sees any stubble or not. I can feel a little bit right here and right here under my neck. So definitely did not get near as close as a razor, razor handle, so I'll probably have to go over it again. And this is the side that I wet shaved, which surprisingly feels smoother than I thought. I don't feel near as much patchy hair except this same spot on my neck. It's kind of hard to get too feels fairly smooth, but I probably will have to go touch it up, so what do you think, dear? Oh, well, I mean, yeah, you can kind of see a little bit here and there. So, there you go. The point to shaving is to shave all your hair off, so it's not a very good razor. <laughs>